Hi friends, I want to share today a prophetic vision I've had this week about the season we're in and a very uh, important revelation about a kingdom purpose that's happening during this time. Here's the vision I had. I heard the sound of an earthquake and saw very large rocks being rocked back and forth, shaken back and forth until they were tossed to the side. So it was like an earthquake you see shaking and, and it was so violent that eventually these big boulders just began to move aside. When that happened, when the rocks were moved away, it revealed everything that had been hidden underneath the rocks. And I saw lizards and scorpions, which are common here in Arizona, snakes and all kinds of other insects. And the moment that sunlight hit them, they all scampered away. So they, they were prospering in darkness. They had made their home in darkness, but the moment they were exposed to sunlight, they screeched, I heard a little screeching, and they scattered away, dissipating in every direction. This present moment of shaking in the history is not a judgment of God to destroy the world. It is God's answer to the prayers of his people to reveal, uh, to bring a harvest, to bring a revival, and to bring reformation. So there's a purpose that God has put his hand on this shaking season that he would fulfill. So that's really important because if we get that, then, then we can translate value and see a redemptive end to what's happening, okay? So God's revealing things in every realm of life, okay? Next part of it. Jesus said in, in Matthew chapter 10, do not be afraid or intimidated by others. So he's talking about the church experiencing intense seasons of kind of like what's happening right now. And he said this, for God will bring everything out of hidden into the open and every secret will be revealed so every hidden thing will be revealed and things that are unknown will be manifest that's from matthew chapter 10 in the passion bible this worldwide shaking that we're experiencing is producing a revealing that is necessary for kingdom transformation hidden agendas are being exposed in every facet and place of life Hebrews 12 says that when shaking comes, part of the redemptive value of it is that everything that can be shaken is shaken in order that the things that cannot be shaken remain. So God's kingdom, what is an unshakable kingdom? We belong to an unshakable kingdom and you and I are gonna survive the season of shaking because we're citizens of this glorious, unshakable, eternal kingdom. So the Lord is exposing and removing the hidden darkness of demonic strongholds, of antichrist spirits and agendas, of self, selfishness, of secular humanism, and every other ungodly and unhealthy thing that's been in our lives, our families, our churches, our businesses, our governments, the media, and nations. So there's just no part of this world right now that's not experiencing the intensity, the rocking of this season of shaking. But God says, I'm gonna expose negative things so I can replace them with positive things. I'm gonna expose the devil's agenda so I can replace it with the kingdom of God. So our God is moving and working. Things are gonna be very different, but they're gonna be very de uh, better. Things are gonna be different, but they're gonna be better. That promise to you, that promise for us as believers is true, is real, is powerful. And God wants you and I to live in it, to have, to rest in it, that he's in control. So Haggai says this, once more God says in Haggai 2, I will shake the heavens, the earth, the dry ground. And so th there's a shaking. So this is a global shaking that's happening. So there's prophetic consequence to it because there's no place untouched by the intensity of this hour. So the vision I saw was God says things that have been hidden in governments, in business, in churches, in families, in media, all these agendas, the Antichrist or demonic agendas, humanistic agendas, selfish agendas, unhealthy agendas, that have, been, that have been really unnoticed, unrecognized, that have been operating are gonna be exposed. And when they're exposed, when the sunlight hits them, they scamper off. So the good thing that's gonna happen is God's exposing things that haven't been good. It's not a judgment when God reveals things, okay? It's not a judgment from God. Oh, we're in the judgment of God. No, God's revealing things that have been going on. So when big rocks are moved out of the way, so I saw this is this is this isn't as big as the rocks I saw. So when the rock was lifted underneath, wow, look at all that stuff. The scorpions, the snakes, and insects. Look at all those those dangerous things that have been living in the damp darkness 
of the covering of the rock. When the rock was moved, the sunlight hit it and they scampered away. So God's revealing things. In fact, something just happened today. Someone was telling me, I gave this word a few days ago and something happened today in our nation about being, things, secrets being revealed. That's just gonna happen more and more and more in your city, in your town, in your family, in your nation, wherever you're watching this from. It's gonna to continue to happen because God's gonna use this shaking to expose things that have been unhealthy, that have been harmful, that have been detrimental to God's people, to God's kingdom, and to God's purpose. And so that's the good thing about shaking. So you and I belong to what? An unshakable kingdom. So when other people's faith is shaken and they're living in fear, when other people's promise is shaken, they lose hope, they become despondent, depressed, and, and hopeless, we have an unshakable kingdom. Our hope is unshakable. Our love is unshakable. Our joy, unshakable. We don't have joy because things are going good. We have joy because Jesus is doing good in us. We have joy because of Jesus. So there's, in our lives, this moment, there might be things in your story that God's gonna reveal too. Please don't be afraid of the revealing. When we reveal things, Jesus can heal things. And in this season of revealing, it's gonna have a positive outcropping, a positive outcome, because God is going to then do some important strategic and some healing things. I really believe this is happening globally. And I just wanna encourage you that this is not a season of judgment. This is not an earthquake to destroy the world. It's an earthquake that God's using to reveal things that aren't right. Revealing things that are demonic, negative, hurtful, that are anti-Christ. He's revealing these things in order that they might scamper off into the darkness and so that his God's kingdom might manifest some great victories in the season of life. Just watch what God does. No matter what's happening in the world, as more and more things, as there's more upheaval, as there's more revelations, don't be alarmed, don't be upset, don't even be uh, disturbed by them because they must happen. The revealing season introduces us to the transformation season. And God's gonna do some amazing things in this season of revealing. And I promise you, you're gonna see miracles happen as a consequence of negative things being revealed. God bless you, thanks, thanks for listening to me today.